Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Can, to get the We Can game. In the last episode of Tomb Raider, we made our way onto the ship, we took out this big boss type monster, this human I should say, and we are going to continue the search for Alex. So, pull heavy objects wrapped in things, we're going to use our new tool that we got to now bring this to us, and with that we can get out of here, because I believe we can now go down here that is correct so we're gonna use animal instincts to figure out if there's anything we can do in here not looking like we can do too much actually back here again back in the ship we started and I think point of interest on the map aha there's a relic how do I get to it oh Really interesting to see that photo of Laura and Sam there. There's a diary here, and we're going to take the time to read it. But I just want to say, going back to the room which this all started in is really amazing. So why don't we take this time and explore this diary? I suppose on some level, I have Laura to thank for this job. She's always believed in me. The academics at college dismiss filmmaking as nonsense. They just saw me as this ditzy American troublemaker with the camera. But you know what? Most people can use a little trouble in their lives. And deep down, I know Lara just wanted to cut loose sometimes. She just needed a little help unlocking her inner party girl. We had so many awesome adventures together. That insane backpacking trip through Bulgaria. <laughs> I was always dragging her out to clubs. And the hiking trip on the south face of Kilimanjaro. All Lara wanted to do was explore ruins. <laughs> but who knew we'd run into so many cute guys? Certainly not Lara. <laughs> I have a feeling this expedition is going to be one for the books. Lara with her notebook, me with my camera, another crazy adventure. I really like that uh, document. You really get an idea of what Laura and Sam's friendship is really like. But we also have a skill point, and we get to find a base camp. She said there that they've traveled a lot. They went to Bulgaria, but she always liked to take a club. It really is good character development. And that's what I can appreciate. One thing I will say about this game is the amount of character development they have is amazing. But it seems like there's something... Is this just highlighted because it's how we got in here? Seems that to be the case. Now a lot of you have mentioned that going into first person like that is really cool. But I'm just gonna go for the headshot. Get him out of the way. I don't really want much noise if I can. So, I'm going to use this to see what's around me. Doesn't look like there's too much. Okay, let's go. Hearing a, uh... Hearing something already. Have someone down here. Killer headshot. I want to make sure that's the last little grunt person. Looks like it is, so why don't we take this time and make our way down there. I'm really enjoying <coughs> coming back. Because I've been wanting to finish Tomb Raider for some time now. And now we're going to salvage him. No smoking, none of this. Alright. So down we go. Every time we get a new area, we get a lot of experience. I have to say, the environments are one of the things I love here. I'm gonna save Alex, I hope. I really do like Alex. I love his clothing, I love his stuff. They really made him an interesting character. Just hurry. 
Okay, so we can't do that. If I could figure out how to move it. Wait, I got it. This, right? Knew it. There we go. Damn it. The track's blocked. If I could get up there somehow, I might be able to clear it. Now we're going to figure out how to get up there, aren't we? The side ladders here, of course. Or not. Thought this would have. Oh, wait. I see what we need to do now. So, we're gonna have to, like, I guess. Oh, wait. I see. So, we are going to have to push this along the track here. then so over here we go almost looks like this is more like I think this is what it wants us to do but I don't know how to trying so that's not it is it has to be something like that because I can't figure out how else we bring it here because I'm noticing we can move it that's the only way up there There is. Hmm. No, that's the wrong position. Okay, well I think I know what I need to do. So first we brought it here. And then we need to bring it over here. Oh, so we can. Alright, got it. And then from here, it'll stop at the corner thing. Good, I'm glad I figured it out. And if you knew that puzzle, I'm sorry. It was probably very painful to watch. We figured it out. Okay, got it. Okay, and now we can just, uh... So Alex seems to be probably dying, but this was a fun puzzle on a side note. Alex is pretty cool. I we haven't had too much time with him as a character. Doesn't mean he's a bad character though. All it means is that he hasn't had as much time. I really like Jonah though. I really do like the supporting characters. But I understand. I understand why a lot of people don't. Supporting characters sometimes aren't handled right. Oh, too far. Too far back. And I feel when supporting characters are not handled right, they could become annoying, but I feel they're done pretty well here. So now, with the new mechanic, I feel like we're in a Zelda game. We get a new thing, use the mechanic, get out of here. Oh god! Got a little bit of a. Got a little bit of that. Let's uh, see what's going to happen. Oh, Alex. You got the tools. Finally. I impressed you. Let's get you out of here. God, God. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, well, that looks like my dance career is over. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You kill us. I'm not gonna make it out of here, Laura. Take the tools. Not without you! 
How often does a guy like me get to be a hero? And with that, we've lost Alex. I think they uh, handled it really well. I have a little bit of a argument with the way they did it. But other than that, I'm really, really impressed how they handled that. That was a really cool sequence to watch. A lot of character development. You can see that Laura really did care for Alex, maybe not in a romantic way, but she knew she knew that he liked her, and I think that peck on the cheek was very sweet of Laura. I don't think it was too far. I think it was very, it was handled very respectably, I'd say. But with that, his death will not be in vain because we need to get off this boat. Now, how do I do that is the question. Can't do it that way. I guess this is the way we're going. So, up we go. We're gonna climb back. Oh wow, this is cool. Hold X to quickly ascend rope lines. I'm so happy we got that new tool, otherwise that would've been a nightmare. Now there's a few places here that we need to get some relics and things, but I want to know, what do you feel about Alex's death, and how do you feel about his comment, a guy like me doesn't rarely get to be the hero? I have to disagree, I feel like being a hero doesn't matter if you're nerdy or anything like that, I feel anyone can really be a hero, you know? That's always been my philosophy on it. If you're a hero, I feel like anyone can be a hero. So let me know what you think, but let us see what we can do at this campfire. Okay, I wasn't sure if Laura was going to try to say anything. Don't see any upgrades there, there. Wait. We have new upgrades here? I'm going to purchase this. I thought we had all the pistol things, but let's get this. Magazine well now has more. Rapid fire we have. Let's get the ergonomic grip. This will probably increase... Uh, yeah, reduces recoil. And we have the silencer. So now we can kill people in silence. And I believe that's everything we can ha No, dang it. We have so much to go on the pistol still. And other things. You'd I'm surprised they keep adding it for us. But you know what? Let's just keep enjoying it. Got 100%, 100%. So why don't we take this to... guess we can get... I want to get Axe Expert. Might as well. And then the last two we need are Dodge Kill and Dodge Kill Mastery. So we're getting a good upgrade amount there. And now I see what we need to do here. We're going to get that and it's going to fall down. Bam! Very satisfying. But we can now go down here. Old log books. Months of excavation has at last yielded new information concerning the weather patterns gripping this island. The tomb of an important general dating from the Kamakura period was discovered in our coastal dig site. This discovery is the missing piece of the puzzle. It will allow us to finally gain control of the storms. They found something in the cliffs, an old tomb. I might find answers there.
Ancient ruins in the old base. Control over the storms. I need answers. Really? Really? Starting to get interesting. So right when we think we're out of it, they're dragging us into more things. Learning a lot more. We're getting character development everywhere we turn. I really am loving that. But we need to get this and keep going. Seems there's a treasure map and the relic and just a few things left to do. It's really fun to see what we can do now that we have the tools we've been needing, really, to do what we've we've seen. We've seen a lot of stuff we can't access, but now all we have to do is actually do it. So we're going to torch this, see if we can get any more gun parts or anything. Even if it's just normal salvage, I'll take it. So now we're going to search in this relic. This is a Tempo Suho. Hard to read the date, but Japan made thousands of these in the mid-1800s. So we got a hundred Mon coin. So now we're just going to keep going. Going to try to find this treasure map, I guess. Interesting. So now that we have this information, can we go in here or do we not have a... I don't know. We're going to have to go through here and find out, I guess. Let's see. Uh, yes. Now we can break three break through here and we can get more areas that we couldn't before burn this flag feel like we've we've missed a challenge here dang it but we're gonna get the relic for one and fourth of the flags burn Portuguese minted these in the 16th century for their colony in Malacca Malaysia this must have come from one of the old galleon wrecks. So we have a Portuguese tin coin, really. Loving the things like that we can find. Got some of that. Let's see what this is, the map. Cliffside bunker map found. So now I think we have everything we've needed on display will be shown here. Now that we can do that, we can ascend here and climb down below unless there's something higher up. But part of me also wants to see if we can find more of those flags. Hmm. Let's quickly go through this just to see in case I missed anything. I feel like we could see them pretty clearly, though obviously I kind of proven I can't because, well... I didn't move it too clearly. But there's something that looks like it needs to be pulled to get into, which is this. Which concerns me because, well... How do you open this? It's a good question. Alright, well, I think we're good for now. I think we'll return to the base camp and get all we need and get out of here. Head back to our friends and maybe get a few of the uh, pieces along the way. I'm really just trying to get... Starting to get a lot of things here. I just want to finish the story. I'm really enjoying it a lot, but... I don't know. I feel like we've been losing too many characters that we've met. And I hope we don't lose any more because... I don't really want to lose anymore. I really do like this cast of characters. Five out of the five GPS cache is found here. And we're going to sit at the camp. Or not. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. That's going to be it for today. Let me know. What did you think of losing Alex? 
What do you think about him being the stereotypical nerd and how they sent him off? I'm really curious to what you have to say, but that's going to be it for this episode. That's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Oh, shit. We heard the explosion, we thought. Alex. He was still on the ship.